Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Vangelis here with a look at the surprise partner piece from Mastermind Creations Night Morpher Cyclops. This is the Micromorpher Cyclops, the true form of Tyrantron's one-eyed eliminator tactician. I'm reviewing him separately for a couple reasons. Uh, number one, he took us all by surprise, and number two, he's got enough spunk in him to warrant individual coverage. Taking on the form of a retro sci-fi Victorian supervillain mini-submersible, Cyclops has a lovely and compact vehicle aesthetic. I love the look, especially with its sleek purple bodywork and glossy pink sensor array. Another nice touch is that the rear propellers can slightly turn in synchronization, if you hold them together. And while this won't be a plus for everybody, this submarine is so tiny! I love it! So cute, I can put it in my pocket, only it might break. The only big problem with this mode is that, while it holds together decently, one misplaced jostle can knock the main panels way out of alignment. There are several locking tabs, but I think it would have been rock solid if the round frontal piece had an inner lip or some similar friction source to help hold the submarine's shape. I was legitimately stunned when I first saw just how many moving parts are crammed into Cyclops' micromorpher form. A lot of stuff folds around and his wings even manage to call back to the larger Cyclops' transformation. Unfortunately, they and his ankles are on tiny ball joints that are pretty easy to pop loose. Speaking of his ankles, I love how he even manages to have huge boots when many similarly small robots would simply end their legs in stumps. Plus four points to his orthopedic score. Micro Cyclops' head is absolutely fantastic. It's crisp and striking in both sculpt and paintwork, and brings the little guy to life. His entire upper body is a great example of fine detail sculpting work, and I really dig how his silhouette calls directly to his larger companion piece. His inner shins are hollow due to the transformation, and I can deal with that, but I do wish his backpack was a bit more cohesive. It's almost solid, but is both loose locking and componenty to a minor detriment. If it clipped together more solidly, he'd be golden. All right, I just gotta tell you, aside from how great the head looks, the head also poses really well. I didn't think this thing would be on such a ball joint, but it is. It's one of those ball joints that doesn't just let it look left and right. It lets it look like up and down and things. This is fantastic. I love this for reasons that I can't verbally quantify at the moment. Uh, his shoulders, unfortunately, are the complete polar opposite. They're on ball joints, but not in the good way. They're on ball joints in the that's the ball and this is the socket kind of way. Uh, and that's really unfortunate, because for all the tons of components this guy has, his arms can really only move forward and backwards with a minimal amount of outwards motion. Uh, doubly bummered by how he has, like, bicep swivels, and in the case of this elbow, even, like, a, almost, if you swivel it this way, a double-jointed elbow. Um, the bicep swivel, though, it's kind of loose. You can see it's kind of loose. It's not as, like, untenable as it looks right now. Like, it's... It's, uh, it's okay for minor posing, um, but this one is, is a little bit worse. This one is kind of tight in some positions, like here it's very tight, but then here it's, uh, it's very not tight. So I wish I could figure out how to tighten up the friction inside there on, on, the, uh, on the swivel, because this is also a sliding joint, so I'm not sure how all the mechanisms in there work, and there's no obvious way to pop it open. If a customizing type dude ever figures that out, I'd, I'd love to know so I could tighten up my own mini cyclops. Another surprise I had with this guy is, oh, holy crap, he has a waist joint. You have to move the skirt out of the way, because the skirt is jointed above the waist joint. Uh, and this is from the transformation, but look at this. This guy can actually, like, turn around and stuff. If you don't mind his skirt not necessarily matching up with his legs, uh, I think this is fantastic. Um, his hips are also, like, you know, on ball joints. Um, there's not a ton of outward movement, but you still get a little bit and his, his backpack's just going crazy back there. Uh, he also has a thigh swivel from the transformation. He's got a, a nice solid knee joint on this side. Uh, unfortunately, like the biceps being loose, the knee on this side on mine was incredibly loose. I've tightened it with a bit of super glue. I tried floor polish and nothing was happening, so I just took a risk and went with super glue, and it seems to have worked. Uh, and then finally, this is not a full-on ankle tilt, but because of the way that his feet are formed, he can't actually tilt these to give him a bit of uh, help having a, a wider stance. Uh, just be careful though, because when you're when you're standing him up, you should really push down on the back of his heels. If you push down on the front, you'll very very easily pop this off and need to plug it back on. I'm really impressed by just how much stuff moves on such a tiny figure, and that unfortunately means I'm kind of really disappointed by his shoulders. Because I mean, like even a, a Legion dude like this 
has like fully outward moving shoulders with the if you ignore that swivel part like just this motion that's a whole lot off of the same number of components the same ball joint connections and i really wish a similar connection had been set up for the micro cyclops the same time look at how effing tiny micro cyclops is he's smaller than like cyberverse legion evac unless you hate tiny transformers in which case you're probably not very happy but uh, then you know you also probably hate christmas and you know children's laughter and life this little guy is really fun. The combination of crisp detailings and densely packed parts reminds me of what I love about perfect effects designs, while the aesthetics of Micro Cyclops are clearly mastermind creations. His main problems are that his tiny joints have a bit much being asked of them, and he really deserves more shoulder posability for all the other moving parts he's got. I'd love to see Mastermind work on more toys of this scale, as I do believe they're onto something cool. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Vangelis, and we've got a boat to catch. Stay tuned, sailors. We are headed to the docks of destruction. And I'm wearing a really tight shirt.